We thank you for tuning in as we are live from Redskins training camp. Man, that looks Paul good Flame, right there, doesn't it? Joined by Eric Bickle and Jason Bishop. And, What's yes, up? we are live. Thank you to uh, Pedro Pete on Sports who, f who filled in last second. Oh, yep. yeah. Um, we're lucky to be here because nobody was at the gate when we arrived right around 5 a.m. Well, let me just say and this then, about Pedro. Pedro getting to, to fill in for the first 20 minutes was yeah. like an 18-year-old kid walking into a strip club. <laughs> he loves that. Oh, my gosh. I, just, I can't that. even imagine what was going on. But he's super capable, and he talked about the Nats. Yeah, we'll talk about job, the Nats Pedro. throughout the show who've closed the gap and then at least to four and a half have the uh, wild card lead. It's very tight. Got the trade deadline. Um, tomorrow Four is the trade yeah. deadline. There was some action yesterday, so we'll get into that. But, yes, we are here at Redskins training camp. It's safe to say there are no Redskins players or coaches who are working out at 5 in the morning yeah, because no. I thought Jay Gruden was going to have to let us in the building. I jumped the fence. And then Drab told me to kind of see what was doing. And I walked by where there's a media tent where we're allegedly supposed to get the media credentials. And there are nothing but chairs and empty tables. And so I walk over and Tim, the engineer, is all the way at the gate right before you actually get to the fields. Yeah. And that is completely shut. And that's like a six-foot fence. The, the fence which I jumped was about three feet. Yeah. So I, I still was too. Right, so I jumped that, I walked over, and then I see Tim, and Tim says there's one guy out there in the parking lot, but he doesn't have the pass to get through the building, so we're just dumbfounded, like, what to do, and luckily, uh, the guys from NBC Sports Washington, Mitch, yep. comes over, and he's like, oh, we just got to cut the zip tie. <laughs> we cut a zip tie and got in the gate, and uh, it took a little while to get us up well, and really running. Well, it really is a miracle. The right to Mitch and Greg and Tim and everybody over here. Yeah, because, good job, boys. I mean, we were just laying down on the grass in the dark. And we're just chilling, and they're working their butts <laughs> off, trying to wire it up, get By the way, cameras going, the lights. It's dark. You can't see anything outside when we arrived around 530 except for EB's shoes. No, I didn't even notice. Oh, yeah. He has, like, Stelly's. the neon shoes. He does got the neons going. Yeah. Yeah, I took a picture. I think it's up at Junk's Radio on Twitter, and you just see EB shoes. No, but I don't think people understand. Like literally ten minutes before we're supposed to go on air, um, it's still dark outside, mm -hmm. and we haven't even gotten in the tent yet. No. Nope. And the guys are scrambling to put the cameras up to get the cables going, uh, to get the audio working, to get the vid video going. I think we're running on one camera and a phone. It's a miracle that we got it, you know, on air at 6:20. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of uh, we went by. Patreon might have to do an hour, <laughs> which is fine with me. I'm right, gonna go back to the hotel and sleep. Yeah, exactly. But uh, um, no, but good job, boys. Thank you, you guys so did a much. Great job so, and it is very cool to be here. I think, honestly, first time we've been here. First time we've been, been here. here. Yeah, officially, like the broadcast uh, from it looks very cool. I was here for a 106.7 <laughs> The Fan trip with mm -hmm. a bunch of listeners in a bus. Oh, that's right. You did. Art Monk, Daryl Green. I think there may have been another Redskin. But it was the year that RG3 had come off the injury. Yeah. And remember, he, he wanted to play, but they were kind of holding him back All in for, for a while. week one. And he was yeah. at that point. It was so different than the vibe right now. Because right. I thought about that. Kelsey, my oldest, who's 18, was, I guess, 12 at the time. And she got an RG3 autograph. And AJ, who was a producer of the Grant and Danny show at the time, actually on the bus ride back tried to buy the autograph for $25. And it was just chicken scratch. Right. I actually told Kelsey she should probably do it. And we could just, you know, scribble our own thing. How would he know right. whether it was RG3 or not? Uh, but uh, that's the only time I had been here. Yep. What well, it has in common with today is it was scorching hot that day, right? And it's going to be scorching hot today. What are they calling it's nice for? and cool now. Uh, I'm sure it'll be 95 or 96. Right. Well, I'm sure my sweatpants. That's all right. Are we're gonna, gonna we're fine. gonna tell Drabby to go out and get a fan or two. <laughs> Start <laughs> blowing it on. We us. gotta find some caffeine. Uh, but the guys that practice officially starts at 9:30, right? Mm -hmm. So as JP mentioned, we we clearly don't have any like hard knocks workout warriors at 5 a.m. We didn't see any of those guys. Not at 5 a.m. Maybe they arrive, you know, 6:30. I don't sure think they're doing we'll anything till 9:30. We'll so see you can some of the guys wandering around. By the way, Jason, here's the picture I took of the tent when we finally crossed in, and it's you can see it's yeah, dark, see. and then you just see EB shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he loves those shoes. I don't want to get hit by a car or anything. You never know. Maybe somebody on a Jay Gruden so on a golf on cart. My, uh, personal, so you can follow me at Glass Joe JP if you want to see the. Maybe pick. maybe we can pull Jay Gruden today. What are, I, what are the chances there, Drabby? I think there's a good chance. The Redskins have been really supportive. I know Grant and Danny when they were here last week, they had a great time. Uh, they got, got each of the to, quarterbacks. Got all the quarterbacks that happened to. There was some serendipity there where that worked out for them. Mm -hmm. um, we may not get that, but uh, they've been very very helpful. It's been great. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Again, a lot of that stuff uh, will probably be later in the show. 
Um, but looking forward to that. And anything that we tape, we'll obviously show next uh, next show tomorrow. So I don't know if we can do. The last time I was here, they had the NFL experience beyond the fields. Yeah. I don't know if we want to uh, go through the combine thing. I don't. Just embarrass ourselves. No, I don't. <laughs> wow. The extent of my workout today was climbing the three-foot fence. Yes. Um, which I thought was maybe going to fall down. It was a Especially when fence. Lurch climbed it. Well, yeah. <laughs> let's be real. There is security here, but it's not top-notch no. because – all we had to do was cut a zip tie to get in. <laughs> right, right. We jumped a three-foot fence and cut a zip tie, and well, we were in. Well, I mean, what are you really rushing to see? There's nothing to see, all right, and until the guys at least get out here at 930 or so.